Hi everyone, welcome to my podcast channel Cancer Care. I'm your host Dr. Murli Subramanian, medical oncologist in Bangalore. In today's episode, I will be discussing an important topic that is very common in women. Let me start with a story. Ananya was growing up fast. Soumya thought as she saw her little girl folding up her clothes and placing it neatly in her wardrobe. Soumya let out a huge sigh. Soumya and Arvind had been good parents to Ananya. It had been the best day of their life holding baby Ananya, their little bundle of joy for the first time. They had made an unspoken promise that day that they would give the best life to Ananya. Every single day they had kept their promise. The question is, like most parents, are Ananya's parents unaware or ignorant of a hidden danger? The hidden danger that could haunt their precious angel is called cervical cancer. Would you believe if I told you that cervical cancer is the most frequent cancer in Indian women? So friends, in this podcast, I will be throwing some light on cervical cancer. Precaution is better than cure. Through this small session, I hope to make people aware of everything they need to know about it and how they can prevent it. Let's start. What is cervical cancer? When cells grow abnormally in a woman's cervix, it causes a growth in the cervix and this is called cervical cancer. Cervix is that part which connects the uterus with the vagina. So on the cancer which arises from cervix is called cervical cancer. This cancer may spread to other parts of her body, often the lungs, the lymph nodes, bone, bladder and the rectum. What causes cervical cancer? We have seen that most often cervical cancer is caused by infection with a type of virus called human papilloma virus or otherwise called HPV. This is easily preventable with a vaccine. According to the research, 70% of sexually active adults are likely to be infected with at least one HPV type. The good news is that majority of the infections resolve and only a small part of the HPV infections progress to cancer. In this type of cancer, the cells are not too aggressive and grows very slowly. Hence, there's actually a lot of time to find out and treat before it causes serious problems. Women between the age of 35 to 44 years are the most likely to get it. Who develops cervical cancer? Most women are susceptible for cervical cancer. The risk starts when they become sexually active and increases with age. Irrespective of the individual, whether she is pregnant, postmenopausal, or sometimes we do see cervical cancer in patients who are sexually inactive also. What are the risk factors? Some of the common risk factors are multiple sexual partners, using birth control pills for a long period, tobacco smoking, and a weak immune system. How do I know if you have it? Early cervical cancer does not usually cause symptoms, so you probably won't realize you have it. That's why it's so important to get regular screening tests. Remember that you might not notice symptoms of cervical cancer until it has spread. A few signs to watch out for are pain when you have sex, unexplained vaginal bleeding such as between periods, after sex, during menopause, abnormal vaginal discharge. Also, the symptoms after the spread of cervical cancer that you need to be aware of are pelvic pain, trouble while urinating, swollen legs, kidney issues, 
bone pain, weight loss and loss of appetite, unexplained fatigue. Remember that these symptoms don't mean that you have cervical cancer. They could just be signs of some other medical condition. Before winding up today's podcast episode, I would like to answer one of the most frequently asked questions, is there anything you can do to prevent it? Some risk factors such as family history cannot be changed. Remember that there are a few lifestyle changes you can make to lower your risk. First, screening. I recommend my dear friends that you get regular checkups and pap tests done to prevent cervical cancer. Vaccination. Vaccination against HPV is advised for females who are between the age of 9 to 26 to prevent cervical cancer. But this vaccine is found to be effective when given to people who are not infected with the virus. So hence I recommend that girls need to get vaccination before they are sexually active. Preferable age is between 9 and 14 years. Two vaccines that are licensed globally are also available in India. What is the overall outlook? Cervical cancer is a slow-growing but life-threatening disease if left undiagnosed. Thanks to modern-day screening techniques, you are more likely to discover precancerous cells that can be removed before they get the chance to develop into cancer. The key to defeat cervical cancer is early diagnosis and treatment. I hope this short session has helped you get aware of everything you need to know about cervical cancer. Let's catch up soon with yet another episode of this podcast series with another information.